Hey everyone, this is Dwight from Good Sounds. Today, we are going to continue our video series on mic plot and palladium by demonstrating how to input your information into the pages of mic plot that deal with the characters and cast members of your show. Our last video showed you how to complete the show page of mic plot. So if you haven't seen that video yet, you may want to check it out. After the show page tab at the top of mic plot's main screen, the next three page tabs, characters, cast, and understudies, deal with the actors and characters for your show. We want to get started by selecting the characters tab so we can begin inputting the information on this page. You will see the left side of the screen shows the list of characters names and the right side of the screen includes the details for those characters. The details section includes fields for name, abbreviation, mic priority, mic quality, played by, and finally a window that displays other characters being played by the same actor. Let's start with adding the name of the character. Whenever possible, include the full name of the character. The next field will allow us to provide an abbreviated name for that character. This abbreviation will import into Palladium and populate Palladium's scribble strips and subsequently the scribble strips on your digital mixer. This field will only accept six characters, so you may need to be creative in identifying character names. The next field allows us to choose mic priority. From this drop-down list, we can choose must mic, which is selected by default, nice to mic, which means what it implies, that it would be nice for this character to have a mic when they are on stage, but it isn't necessary, and don't mic, which is exactly what it implies. This character does not get a mic. It also has three options of variable, which means that the mic priority can change for this character throughout the show. We are only going to concentrate on must mic for the purpose of this video, because we want every character that we add to our list to have a mic when they're on stage with speaking or singing roles. The next field allows us to indicate mic quality. This will only be useful if you plan to use different quality microphones for different types of roles. This is not something that we generally practice, so this field is left empty in our mic plots. If you plan to use different quality microphones, you have the option of selecting first, second, or third. After that, we have the field that indicates who is playing the character. Right now, you won't have the option of selecting anyone from the drop-down list because we haven't populated the cast page yet with our actors. Once we input those names, we can come back and select the actors from the drop-down list. As a side note, you could go ahead and input the cast names first and then come back to the characters page so you have those actors' names to choose from when inputting this information. Once you have completed all the information for your character, simply select the Add button to refresh the Details section and continue adding the rest of your characters. Moving on to the cast page, we can add the names of the actors in our production. The left side of the screen again lists the actors' names, and the right side includes the details section. For the sake of time, we are only going to concern ourselves with just a few. We are going to input the name of that actor, include a six character abbreviation to identify that character, which will also be imported into Palladium and Palladium's scribble strip and finally, whether or not that actor is a member of the ensemble. Based on the information we input into the characters page, cast page, understudies page, and movements page, the sections at the bottom of the cast page will indicate all the characters that the actor will be playing. If there are possible buddies that can share a mic with this actor, understudies, and buddies the actor may already have. If necessary, you can also input more information relating to the mic style, color, belt size, projection, and vocal range. For most of our theatrical productions, we have a very limited amount of time to prepare for a show, so we don't typically have a lot of this information available to us. Once you have completed the information for one actor, simply select Add to refresh the details section and begin with another actor's details. 
Once those are complete, we can move on to the understudies page. On the understudies page, we are going to see a similar screen with the list of understudies on the left and the details section on the right. In the first field, we can input the understudy name. For example, we can call it Bobby Understudy. Then we can choose the character that is going to be played by the new cast member. Once we select that character, Mike Plot automatically chooses the original cast member who is playing that character. Now we can select the new actor who is playing this role. And finally, we can choose whose microphone is going to be used by this new actor. For most cases, it will probably be the mic of the original actor. Continue the same process for each new understudy by selecting Add to refresh the details section for each new actor. Now, depending on the order you have completed these pages, you can go back to the Characters page and choose the Played By Actor for each character. Make sure you save your work when you're done. Now that you have completed the show, character, cast, and understudies pages, you are ready to get started on the movements page which will create the foundation for your Palladium cue list and also provide more information towards completing your final mic plot. Join us for our next video where we will demonstrate how to complete the movements page in mic plot. If you need any assistance with mic plot or Palladium or would like to purchase these programs, please let us know. We would be happy to help in any way we can. Check us out on Facebook or at GoodSoundDesign.com. Thanks for joining us, and remember, if it can't be heard, it can't be good.